I've been using a new AI workflow recently that combines some of the top AI tools and it's helped me do a lot of things that would take me weeks in a matter of days. And sometimes I've even launched an entire business from zero to launch in less than 24 hours. So I wanted to share it with you in this video. So the first stage in the process is the research stage. And this is where I'm trying to figure out how do I do something new that I haven't done before or a lot of times I use it to improve the way I've been doing something all along already. So for this example that I'm gonna show you, I'm trying to figure out if there is demand for this idea that I have for an app. And does it solve the pain points that I should address when I'm creating the app? And what type of feature should I build into the app? And here's the quick idea for the app I'm trying to build. This is gonna be an app called Microtasks. So I already use ChatGPT to help me come up with the name, to help me design a logo, all the stuff that goes into creating that in the very beginning. And the idea for Microtasks, it breaks down any goals into five minute actionable steps. So the problem is trying to solve is people procrastinate because big goals usually feel overwhelming. And if you create an app like this, the concept is you enter a goal, get AI generated tiny actionable tasks. And the research phase of it here is I'm gonna try to figure out how people break down goals into these micro steps already and find out, well, what's the biggest pain point when people are trying to track how to achieve something that has multiple steps. And there's also a whole different angle to it where ADHD users, they have a hard time managing their time. So I wanna also design this specifically for them to help them achieve bigger tasks by doing them in very small steps in five minute increments. So a lot of AI apps, including ChatGPT, have something called deep research and this is gonna take us a lot further than just using actual search. But what I'm gonna show you is actually gonna take it a whole lot further. So right here, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT a question and a lot of the AI apps have deep research built into them. And my prompt is gonna to be to act as an AI researcher. I'm gonna build a simple app to help people break down big goals into five minutes. So I'm gonna give it a description of what I'm trying to do. Please research why people procrastinate on big goals, how micro tasks or small steps helps them. And I'm gonna go ahead and send this out with deep research turned on over here. Okay, now here's an extra step I take. Perplexity, for example, also have deep research. So I take the same exact prompt and I send it out here in perplexity. Gemini from Google also has deep research, which is also available to free users too. So I choose deep research here send out the same exact prompt. Grok also has something called deeper search. This one is pretty fast and it's a little bit more in depth than the regular deep search that they have. So that's four different apps. And again, obviously you don't have to use them. This is my workflow to get the most amount of research literally by just copy and pasting the same exact prompt into four different platforms. And then I'll use an app here. I'll show you how do I combine all this knowledge into one and then have an AI conversation here to go to the next step and the next stage. Okay, after about 10, 15 minutes or so, all four platforms finished their deep research. ChatGPT went through 39 sources and it gave me a full breakdown of everything I asked for. Here's the output I got out of perplexity, but it searched 79 sources, so a little bit more in depth. Now, Gemini Deep Research is by far my favorite out of the four, so if you only used one source here for this step, I would use Gemini, obviously combining the four platforms is gonna give you the most in depth. But let me show you why deep research is my favorite. It actually went through 608 different sources and it also has reasoning. So it thinks before it breaks down each step. So this step, for example, it researched all these sites and then it moved on to a different step and it researched a different set of sites plus YouTube videos and I'm gonna export it right here to Google Docs directly from here. So then the next steps becomes a little easier. I could do that in just one click like this. They also recently rolled out audio overview. So this will generate a podcast from this note between two people that sounds really realistic. Something straight out of Notebook LM here. Now Grok here only took a couple of minutes, 65 sources. So if you want a fast option, this Grok deeper search is the fastest one. Gemini is the slowest one but it usually gives you the most in-depth research here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through all those four and I'm gonna go ahead and export what I got out of them. So for example, with perplexity, I could press export and export it as a PDF, 
with ChatGPT, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste all the text here from top to the bottom. And for this next step, I'm gonna go to Notebook LM, which is available for free. So Gemini Deep Research is free, Notebook LM is free. Some of the other deep research platforms I showed you require the paid upgrade if you wanna combine them. But here, I'm going to copy text. So that is what I got out of ChatGPT. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that. That is gonna be pasted text. And I usually like to rename it. I'm gonna add another source and I'm gonna bring in the PDF that I got from Perplexity. And we got that PDF. And I'm also going to add directly from Google Docs because Gemini connects directly to Google Docs. I'll bring in that document from Google Docs here. And with Grok, I'm gonna copy and paste and go back to Notebook LM and I'll add that too as pasted text. And I'll paste that over here too. Okay, now I got four sources. You could do 50 sources, by the way. So if you have other YouTube videos, maybe your own research that you saved in a Word doc, you could import all that and really build this out here. And the next thing I like to do when I do that is on the right side, it creates a briefing doc. So, so far I haven't even read through any of this deep research on any of these four platforms, but this is gonna generate this document for me in a second using those four sources. Now this document right here, it's about a couple of pages typically, and I usually like to go and read this entire document. And if I wanna dive deeper and learn more, I do read these deep research documents, but some of them like Gemini is 10 pages. So this kind of gets me started, and I usually convert this to a source. So now we have a source that is a combination of those four sources in two pages, plus all those sources, and then whatever else I decide to add. But this is enough for now. And they recently, by the way, Notebook LM added this discover tab. So you could actually discover more topics here instead of going back to those other platforms and dive a little bit deeper. In this case, I'm really happy with my deep research. I don't need any more. And then right here, I could have a chat using Gemini with all my documents here. So inside of Notebook LM, I usually dive a little bit deeper. And sometimes I even get this audio overview function, which creates that podcast dimension between those two people right inside of Notebook LM. Now for stage two, I'm gonna actually create a prototype. Typically when I have these ideas, I wanna see what that looks like. Even if it's an idea for a website, I wanna see what that looks like. And with AI now, we could do that. There's platforms that make that possible. I'll show you one in a second. So I just said, help me craft a prompt that turns text instructions into a working app and it will help me craft this prompt. So I got a prompt over here and I went back and forth a couple of times and I got a prompt that I really like and I'm gonna take that to our next step of the process here. For this stage, I'm gonna create this prototype and I'm gonna use a platform called Hostinger Horizons, which recently came out. And Hostinger, if you've watched my videos, I cover Hostinger a lot on this channel because it could turn a text prompt into a working website with hosting, domain, and everything else. So I've made videos about that, but I partnered with them to show you Horizons here, which literally turns ideas into reality, which is a perfect fit for what I'm doing this for. And this doesn't require any coding knowledge. It's literally text prompt into a working app. Let me show you this in action. Okay, I'll put a link to this page in the description. This is for hosting your Horizon. And they also give me a special coupon code that I'll show you in a second here once I get this going. So, I use Gemini and a little bit more of what I want out of this app to create this prompt over here. So I kind of broke down step by step what I want, but ultimately I'm trying to create this prototype app, Micro Tasks. It kind of explains what it is and the different things that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna go ahead and send this out right here. That's literally all I have to do. Okay, it's gonna start writing the code. It's gonna actually give you some recommendations here if you want to take this a step further, but literally one text prompt, I'm gonna get a working prototype. So let me let this finish up here. And while that's going with the free plan, you do get five messages and then you could upgrade here. So this $20 starter plan gets you hundred messages. And again, this turns one text prompt into a working app and then you could have follow-up messages to refine it and get exactly what you want. So if you go with this plan, for example, they gave me a coupon code here, Skill Leap. So if you apply this to your checkout page here, you get an additional 10% off your monthly fee here. So here's the very first draft that we got and it's pretty straightforward. Let's say I wanna create a YouTube video. Well, there's a lot of steps to creating a YouTube video. So I'm gonna go ahead and generate a list of tasks here. This is gonna know exactly what I need. So spend five minutes brainstorming, create an outline, five minutes, set up your workspace, five minutes, research the one key topic, five minutes, and then I could break that down even further, or I could go ahead and export this. So literally just from that simple text prompt, this is what I got here. Now on the left side, 
I could ask for a lot more. So what I'm gonna say is I want checkboxes for each item so I know which one I'm done with. And I also wanted to give me a timer so I could literally use this as a way to track my time and just be more productive. I usually track my time anyway with an app. So now that follow-up prompt is gonna actually go to work and it's gonna generate the code that we need for this. I'll show you what we get in a second. Okay, same prompt, generate, and this is what I got now. So I got the check. Oh, perfect, it even puts that line through it. We got a timer, let's see how that works. Okay, perfect, that's working just right. I could reset it here. Yeah, everything's working exactly the way it should. And if you get any errors as you're making this, it literally lets you click that and it will go ahead and prompt itself to fix the error for you. So that's really nice. You don't have to figure out what exactly went wrong. You could just click one button to get that. And again, I could export this, or I could copy this, or this is my favorite part. You could publish this. And if you publish this, you could link it to your own domain. Let's say you literally want to get feedback and put this out there. This lets you click one button right here, publish it. It's gonna be on this site right now, but you just click here to get a domain. It lets you search for a domain based on the name you want. And then you could purchase that from Hostinger, the domain too. And Hostinger also provides email, hosting, everything, right? All in one place. And I'm a big fan of these all in one things where you don't have to get your domain from somewhere, your hosting from somewhere, prototype it somewhere, figure out how to extract the code. So I'll put a link to Hostinger Horizon in the description with my coupon code. Let's go to the next step here. Okay, so for stage three, I'm gonna use reasoning models here that will take my deep research documents and help me have a go-to-market strategy. Now you could 100% do this inside of Notebook LM right here, and it's gonna do a pretty good job, but this is for more advanced use case. So again, an optional step here to use a reasoning AI model, or you could do it right here inside of Notebook LM if you don't wanna take it further. But my personal preference, and this is why right now, as the state of AI is currently, you have to mix and match the best models for the job right? One model is not going to do everything. Google is getting closer with the new Gemini releases with Notebook LM, with some of the reasoning models. It's getting closer to do it all in one place, but I still prefer some other AI tools. And I got a couple more I want to show you. Inside of Claude AI, the model they have right now that is excellent at reasoning is Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And it has real time reasoning. So reasoning means the AI models are thinking in the background before they give you a response. Well, typically it's a little bit slow. And right now, this next strategy that I'm looking for is a go to market strategy. So I came up with my idea. I did a ton of research. I made the prototype. Now I need some marketing help, go to market help. Well, I need a reasoning model to really dive a little bit deeper. Sometimes I feel like Notebook LM inside of the chat is not quite there yet. So what I do here is I usually press the plus sign and upload either the briefing doc or all the different documents that I have that I fed to Notebook LM here if I want to take it to the reasoning step. And I'm trying to find a marketing angle. Now, I did this with Notebook LM. That was my first initial batch. And the reason why I even found this workflow is I just didn't feel like it was doing a great job and I wanted to try the reasoning models I did and I got a better response. So again, more of an advanced use case here. And I also like how Grok writes. So if I wanna ask for it to write me a LinkedIn post about this concept to see what people think of it and get some comments that way, again, Grok is a good tool. So here I asked it for a marketing angle for ADHD people, founders and creators, the target audience I want, the three different groups. Start button for your brain. Oh, that's a great angle actually, our app is like the start button for your brain turning overwhelming project into bite-sized actions that bypass executive dysfunction. That's awesome. Now for creators, creators block buster. Oh, that's a great angle also that creators kind of get stuck with this perfectionism issue and this will help turning tasks into micro tasks. So again, use Notebook LM first to try to take this to the next step, which is your go-to market any type of marketing help you need, any kind of content creation using this initial thought here. And then if you're not getting quite what you're looking for, look into a reasoning model. DeepSeek has a reasoning model. ChatGPT has a reasoning model. Grok has a reasoning model. Just pick one of those and then take your output from here, like this document here, and feed one of the reasoning models to then take this to the next step. Okay, that brings me to stage four, which is where I'm gonna use a presentation AI 
to put together a presentation. And the reason for this presentation is I'm going to pitch this to raise money, right? I've put all the pieces together so far to get this business up and running, but we need some money here. So we have an easier way to get to market. So Gamma AI is the best tool for that by far. And you could generate from a single text prompt. But what I like to do is paste in text because we have Notebook LM open. And all I did inside of Notebook LM is I give it a single prompt. It has all that information already. Okay, help me create a slideshow, eight slides to pitch this concept to investors. I don't even need to complicate this prompt here. And it made all this notes. I copy and paste that. I go over here and I'm going to go ahead and send this out right here. And it's going to give me this card by card option, which are individual slides here. So it's giving me all that information here. And then I could tell it, how do I want this condensed, brief, English, what kind of image model I want to use. So this actually has really good image models. I'm going to use Flux Pro for this one. Any additional instructions, like custom instructions I could add over here, I'll just show you here. We'll send this out. It's going to ask me to pick a theme. Let's go ahead and pick this theme right here. Let's go ahead and generate right over here. This is literally doing this in front of you. If you've never seen Gamma before, it's incredible. It's taking all that knowledge through Notebook LM, getting the text, and now we're going to get a presentation here in a few seconds. That took 20 seconds. Let me press present right here. And here's our presentation. And look how well it led this presentation, benefit oriented. And then this is a really cool tagline. Now it's stating the problem here, more about the problem. And then here comes the solution with our app, macro tasks. And it's created those images for us. I mean, this is kind of ready to go. I could literally present it. You don't even have to download these, by the way. These are fully presentable inside of the Gamma platform right here. You could even present it here in full screen. You could have presenter view with your own notes. But if you wanted to download it, just press share. If you're used to doing things in PowerPoint or PDFs, you could literally go ahead and click that and it will generate this for you. And these are also fully editable. So if you wanted to change anything, reformat anything, or literally use AI to improve any parts of it, make it shorter, that's all available here right inside of Gamma too. So I took an idea that I basically knew nothing about. And just in this video, using these steps that I showed you, I literally have a presentation and a prototype that I could put in front of investors and make this a real business. I just got to spin up a website here and I'm ready to go. Thanks again for hosting here, for sponsoring this video. And also, if you're a fan of Notebook LM, I made another video that shows you 12 different use cases where it combines Notebook LM with some other really interesting apps. So I'll link that video here too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.